तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन सोरों की करो विदाई Well, got something very shocking here, and just a quick warning, this is not going to be for the faint of heart, but this clearly shows the kind of murderous, bloodthirsty, demonic nature of Hinduism, and that proves that it's really no different than Islam, in terms of how murderous, violent, demonic, and bloodthirsty it is. Uh, and this is out of, uh, you know, India, of course, uh, and it says here, and this is on Al Jazeera, and it says here, uh, Delhi girl allegedly, uh, I'm not going to say the word, because, you know, the censors on YouTube will come after me, uh, basically she was sexually assaulted, I'll put it that way. Uh, and then killed and forcibly cremated in India. Nine-year-old girl's family alleges she was uh, ganged, gang assaulted, basically, and murdered by a Hindu priest and his associates in the capital, New Delhi. If you don't know what the Dalits are, they're essentially like a lowercase uh, class of, of people in India. And the Hindus have a long history of just really being very violent towards these people. You know, because again, it's kind of the, the bloodthirsty fruit of Hinduism. But I mean, this is just totally just just sadistic and bloodthirsty. Again, not for the faint of heart, but check out, uh, continuing on the article, it says, A nine-year-old girl belonging to India's marginalized Dalit community has been gang raped, murdered, uh, and forcibly cremated in the capital, New Delhi, her family alleges. The gruesome incident sparked a fourth day of protest in the city Wednesday uh, in the latest case of sexual violence targeting the former untouchable community, which falls at the bottom of India's complex case hierarchy. And this, this happened back in, like, I think 2021, uh, you know, about you know, a year or two ago, but it's still relevant today because this kind of stuff happens all the time. It's the fruit of Hinduism. Uh, continuing on in the article, it says, The girl's family alleges a Hindu priest working at a local crematorium and his associates raped her and then cremated her body without their approval on Sunday. Yeah, because again, this kind of forceful nature... Uh, and by the way, Hindus forcefully convert people as well. Don't, don't kid me. Don't tell me they don't do that. Uh, but this kind of stuff... This is the fruit of Hinduism, right there. No different than Islam, uh, in terms of how bloodthirsty, murderous, and demonic. But continuing on the article, it says, The family, along with other Dalits and activists, uh, is camping on a road in New Delhi's Nanjal neighborhood, demand demanding justice. Uh, the police said they have they have arrested uh, four accused and opened an investigation into the incident. The girl, who cannot be identified as per Indian law, has gone on to had gone to get uh, drinking water from a water cooler at the crematorium, her mother told Al Jazeera on Wednesday. As says her, quote, her father had gone to the market to buy vegetables an hour past, but she uh, did not return. I And I got anxious, so I rushed to the crematorium where, where the uh, priest told me your daughter is dead, she said. I was shocked and asked the priest to tell me how my daughter could die. And I told him I wanted to take her uh, take her to the police station and hospital, but he refused, saying, don't do that. I will give you money, but let's settle the matter here. You will not be able to fight the case. And it goes on to essentially say that, you know, this Hindu priest... Uh, essentially wouldn't let her see the, the because she already had been cremated and wouldn't let her see the the daughter and everything else and he and essentially what he didn't tell her was that he basically killed her uh, after gang sexually assaulting her I can't say the, the R word because the, the those just annoying YouTube censors will come after me once again but this right here is the kind of fruit of Hinduism see India there's a reason why India is like like, like, like the capital of Asia for a sexual assault because it's Hinduism you know, the gods, the Hindu gods were a bunch of perverts, you know, and, and that's just reflected by the Hindu uh, culture. No different than Islam, plain and simple. And if that offends somebody, well, 
not my problem. Uh, and that's the kind of thing too, is that, you know, this idea that we should, you know, like Christians should, you know, uh, unite with the Hindus against the Muslims is foolish for two reasons, because number one, Hindus persecute Christians as well. And number two, why am I going to unite with something as primitive and barbaric as this? It's a bunch of garbage. So anyway, uh, don't be deceived by this narrative that Hinduism is a religion of peace and pluralism. It's actually the exact opposite of that. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.